Biofilms are associations of complex microbial cultures. They are present everywhere where there's water. They can be found on rocks in rivers and lakes, interiors of pipes and cooling water systems, as well as kitchen sinks. They are present on the teeth of most animals as dental plaque and can cause persistent infections in humans. Many people think of bacteria as single organisms. In practice, they prefer to exist as biofilms. Biofilms are collections of bacteria which surround themselves with slimy material. This slimy material gives them lots of advantages in the environment. They're the bacteria's way of protecting themselves and giving themselves a competitive advantage. Environmental Biotechnology, EBCRC researchers based at University of New South Wales in Sydney, Australia, have discovered an effective natural cell signalling system that initiates the breakdown of established biofilms and prevents the formation of new biofilms. By using nitric oxide to mimic the natural chemical signals that microbes use to communicate with each other, we can trick biofilms to leave the slimy coatings. This makes them more vulnerable to attack by disinfection treatments which lead to improved cleaning results. Due to their durability, biofilms are responsible for a wide range of problems. In humans, they can cause infections in joint replacements and eyes. They're also responsible for a number of veterinary problems such as mastitis or persistent parasite-related infections. In industry, biofilms can cause fouling and corrosion in fluid processes, undesirable taste and odour issues in water, pipe corrosion within oil, gas and sewerage industries, and souring of oil in pipelines and storage facilities. These problems can lead to significant infrastructure replacement or operational costs and highlight the need for effective strategies to control or minimise biofilm formation. EBCRC's Biofilm Control Research Program is now focused on applying the nitric oxide-based technology to new biofilm control methods that are more effective, less costly and less reliant on toxic biocides than current technologies. Together with our partners, we're working on a number of practical aspects of biofilm control. These vary from pipes and membranes through to medical aspects of biofilm control, produce washing, which includes lettuces and other salad vegetables, and antiparasitic drugs to control parasites in animals. One of the key technologies currently under development is biofilm control for reverse osmosis membranes. These membranes are commonly used in water reclamation plants. Reverse osmosis membranes are key to removing salt from water and also removing microorganisms from water in seawater desalination and water reclamation. One of the key things about membranes is that you get bacterial buildup in the form of biofilms on those membranes. That reduces their efficiency and also leads to problems with their long-term use. The new membrane cleaning processes will have many advantages over the traditional ways. Not only will it use less chemicals, it will also lead to much longer life for the membranes and reduce the carbon footprint of the operations. This is going to give us a cleaner, greener water environment. I'm extremely excited by this new technology. Not only would it lead to big improvements in operational efficiency, it'll reduce chemical use and through reductions in greenhouse gas emission, it'll actually reduce our carbon footprints. On top of that, we're going to get major improvements in human and animal health.